Hello. I am Ron Wellman, the athletic director at Wake Forest University. Welcome to my meadow. There are unicorns here, you know. I am DV7. I am wearing this disguise because I lost my paper bag. I need to find that bag so when my head explodes it will not stain my gar animals. Why is your head going to explode? Over the sheer joy of being a demon deacon fan? My head is about to explode because my favorite team is the laughing stock at college basketball. I am so, so angry I could almost scream. And then today you tell us you think Jeff Buzdelak is doing a great job. Do you know how completely ridiculous that sounds? Careful there, Beckham boy. I have already blocked you on the Twitter. Do not tempt me to ban you from my meadow. There are leprechauns here, you know. Your asshole buddy Irish would like that. You should stop looking at the glass as being 97% empty and look at it as being 3% full. It is a little hard to do that, when we are quite possibly the worst team in the history of organized sports. We are getting beat by junior high teams and blown out by teams we use the clobber. Nobody even does the wave at our games anymore. Our games make soccer games seem exciting. And high scoring. You should be happy. Thanks only to my subtle brilliance, we have my best friend in charge of our basketball team. He is a basketball genius, a fan favorite, and a heck of a words with friends player. He scored 60 points today with hapless. Together, we are bringing the Wake Forest culture to the basketball field. It's not losing that matters. It's losing with class. Dude, we can't beat Wolfard. Or Dayton. Or Presbyterian. Or Stetson. We're getting blown out by everybody. No one comes to our games. Even Crispy is being only mildly positive. DK the one quit posting altogether. You are welcome for that. Yeah, thanks. But other than that everything is completely jacked up. We're the laughing stock at college basketball. Do you have a laptop? Can I shoot it? I do not use laptops. Because they have the internet on them. The internet is inconsistent with our new culture. I have heard that some people speak badly of Jeff Buzdelak on the internet. These people are simply not smart enough to recognize how less horrible we are this year. Our blowouts are slightly less uncompetitive. We actually beat Georgia Southern this year. You can build on wins like that. We have a pretty good recruiting class coming in next year and one entire scholarship to use the year after next. Who cares if other CC schools are getting better at a faster rate? Don't be a math nerd. Just trust me, we are living the dream. I have a dream. A dream that one day we will beat Southern Conference teams at home. Do you remember when we could do that? Oh, heavens yes. You better believe it. Do you remember when you were in the Beatles? No, that was not me. That was Paul McCartney. We you please fire Jeff Buzdelak and hire that dude at UNCG? Why would I do that? Progress under my BFF Jeff Buzdelak might not be apparent against BC, or Calvin and Hobbs. Or even in the remaining games this season. Or next season. Or ever. But my BFF has Wake Forest basketball headed in the right direction. You mean into complete obscurity? No, I mean towards a possible NIT berth. I feel great about our future. We are reducing not only wins, but tattoos. And sideways hats. Where do you think they find those hats that point sideways? Isn't that just the craziest thing? We are eliminating nonsense like that. You are also eliminating happiness and fan interest. No one cares about Wake Forest basketball anymore. You realize that you have put our program into a death spiral, don't you? That's not true. Eight of the other conference athletic directors called me just this week to tell me what a great job Jeff Buzdelak is doing. They were so happy for us, it was all they could do not to burst out laughing. They even invited me on a snipe hunt this weekend. I am supposed to meet them on the top of Pilot Mountain at midnight on Saturday. Dude, they're messing with you. No one thinks our basketball program is anything more than a joke. Even Dan Collins is blatantly buzz out. Did you see the way he ended that article today? He was all but punkin' you. Why do you lie? Why do you lie? Everyone loves me. I hired Jim Grobe, remember? Lots of publications are singing my praise. 
The Onion is doing a front page story on how I have perfected the business of basketball. What you have perfected is peace and fans off by spouting sheer nonsense in the most condescending way possible. You hire a guy who has never won an NCAA tournament game, all in the name of a so-called culture change. Then guess what? Next thing you know, this guy drops an F-bomb at some fan in Miami. Yes, that was most unfortunate. Thankfully, it does not negate the fact that his Air Force team beat us a decade or so ago. Enough talk. Let's sing the fight song together. One, two, three. No, I don't want to sing the stupid fight song. Maybe I'll sing a Kenny Chesney song with you. He banged a chick from Jerry McGuire. Ra, ra, Wake Forest. Ra, old alma mater sons are we. We'll herald the story and die for her glory. Old gold and black is ever waving high. She likes the way it's pulling while we're tilling up the land. She's even kind of crazy about my farmer's tan. She's the only one who really understands what gets me. She thinks my tractor's sexy. Congratulations. You managed to find the one song in the world more lame than our fight song. No matter. We you please fire Jeff Buzdelak before it is too late? Hire Chill, or Rusty, or Marquis Moon, or Richard Hill. Of course not. You are dumb. I am doing a great job. It is not my fault you are not wise enough to see how well things are going here at Wake Forest. Ask that crazy Jason guy on the old boards, if you don't believe it. I have to leave now. It is time to feed my unicorns. Dude, are you wasted? Yes, that's why I could not be happier.